to get rid of ego, tell me. One reason why you want to get rid of it. Because, because I, you were told ego is bad. Yes. Right? Yes. I tell you, ego is good, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Yeah, in your ego, just include everybody. <laughs> Instead of saying, I, we. That's it. Trying to get rid of ego is the biggest problem we have. It's like trying to chase a cat in a dark room where it is not there. <laughs> right. So you can't, you can't handle it. You know, it will make you... Who is chasing? Ego? Myself both. So you have overcome your ego. That's a bigger ego. Correct? <laughs> so I tell you, just be natural. Don't worry, if you find you have an ego, keep it in the pocket. <laughs> Don't have to show it to all the time, to everybody. Okay, sometimes you can show it. <laughs> it's okay to have ego. See, we have this run, we have been put in, we have been uh, forced to think, you have to be perfect, you have to be perfect, you have to be perfect. And then in that run of being so perfect, so correct, they become imperfect. Actually, so what? It's okay to be imperfect. Just for a moment. This is only, ah, by the way, this is only for those who are extremely perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if people who are perfectionist, they get annoyed very often and very soon. You get upset very soon because you see imperfection in others, you can't handle it, you can't tolerate that. That's the nature of perfection. Perfection cannot tolerate imperfection anywhere around or in others. But that becomes a noose around our own neck. We get so stressed out and we become even more imperfect than the so-called imperfect people. Do you see what I'm saying? That's very fine. And then we keep getting angry every day. You know what anger is? It's a punishment you give to yourself for someone else's mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Today somebody did a blunder and you got angry. When you get angry, what is happening? Your brain is boiling. Your nervous system is taking a toll of it. Your BP is rising. Your sugar levels are going up. Your endocrine system is going nuts. So your whole system is rattled. Your sleep is gone. Your appetite is gone. Or you, you keep, simply keep stopping yourself. It takes a big toll on your health. Isn't it so? So anger is the punishment you have given to yourself. And so today someone did a mistake, you punished yourself. Another day, another person did a mistake, you keep, and you keep punishing yourself all the time. And you don't be too hard on yourself, I tell you. You know? Just by you are getting annoyed, things are not going to change. Correct? Does it change? It doesn't change. We had to see the whole situation from a broader perspective. Then you see why people do mistakes, because they are not as evolved as you are. They are not all as informed or educated as you are. They are not as civilized or cultural as you are. Period. And give them time to grow up. Educate them and ignore them. That's my formula, you know. Not keep quiet. If someone does a mistake, educate them. If they don't learn, you know. What else can you do? Don't punish yourself, I tell you. I think this one thing, if you all take with you today, that you are not going to punish yourself for whatever somebody else does it. Then I tell you, no one can take away the smile from you. You can keep smiling even in the toughest moments of life. And I see that is the achievement in life. But all you say, there is one achievement, your ability to smile at any time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Suppose
the tailor doesn't make the coat as nice as you want it to be. Do you like it? Well, I'll accept it that the time will pass. See, when it concerns us, we want everyone to do perfect things for us. Correct? Yes. Yeah. And so, it's natural for us when we take responsibility to be think, do things much better, much better. But then, suppose it is not that way. I'll give you one example. A lady made a beautiful cake, Christmas cake, big cake. But she forgot to bring cherries, to put cherries on the cake. Everyone came, they cut the cake, they enjoyed the cake. But she was so unhappy because she forgot to put the cake, cherry on the cake. <laughs> so I said, the cherry can take away your happiness. But everybody else is in jail. Who bothers about the cherry? <laughs> this is where I am saying we should not be too much hung up on perfections. Yeah? I don't mean we should not have perfection at all. That will be a chaos, it will be a disaster. Okay? I'm doing well, I'll do the best. Yeah? Who cares? Got it? Yeah? Say, who cares? Okay, yeah, I'm doing my best, I'll do my best. And if someone wants you to do what you cannot do, it's their problem, not your problem. <laughs> Get it? Yeah? Stay seated. 